Here at TriOcean Surf, we supply everything needed to repair or make a surfboard. In this short clip, we will briefly introduce you to polyester surfboard resin and instruct you on how to mix the resin ready for repair or manufacturing applications. Prior to working with the resin, ensure that you are working in a well ventilated area and have the necessary protective equipment as polyester resin is volatile and flammable, wear gloves and a chemical respirator. Matt is now measuring out 500 millilitres of polyester resin. The correct quantity of catalyst should now be added. Catalyst should be added at 2% or a ratio of 50 to 1 resin to catalyst. You will now need to stir the mixture until the catalyst is fully mixed into the resin, approximately 30 seconds to 1 minute. The optimum room temperature for using polyester resin is between 20 and 23 degrees centigrade and this will give you approximately 20 minutes of working time. After this time the resin will start to gel and become very difficult to work with. The resin needs to be left for a day to cure to the point of being ready to sand or move on to the next stage of repair or manufacture. What is the difference between laminating resin and hot coat resin? Laminating resin is used in conjunction with fiberglass cloth. It is simply polyester resin with a corresponding quantity of catalyst. It will cure tacky and further coats of resin can be directly applied to this without the need for sanding. Hot coat resin is sometimes referred to as a top coat and is a layer of resin that can be sanded to achieve a desired finish. It should be used when no fiberglass cloth is present. It has an additional chemical additive called waxing styrene. This creates a film-like barrier to prevent air getting to the surface of the resin, meaning it cures tack-free and can be sanded easily. Waxing styrene should be thoroughly mixed in before catalyst at a ratio of 20 to 1, resin to waxing styrene. 